Hi, I'm Corps Bishop Don Sawyer, founder and pastor of Our Lady's Maronite Parish, and thank you for joining me today. The message I'd like to share with you, and, and pointedly I ask you, did you know Jesus didn't start a religion? He didn't. People think, oh, that's religion or Christianity is a religion. It's not a religion. And in the first centuries of the church, they called it the way, or sometimes the, the new way. Uh, and later, they were called Nazareans after the, the man from Nazareth, and, and or they even, we even went by Syriac names, you know, uh, the, the bent, uh, the bent, the daughters of the covenant and the sons of the covenant. But he calls us all, and he gave us a way of life. And he calls us to be a disciple. Now, think about a disciple. We think about someone who followed Jesus, but more importantly, it was a student, you know. And, and Jesus had 12 apostles, and they were disciples too, you could say that. But he had, I think, like 150 that were just disciples, not of the 12. Uh, remember, remember the story in the Gospel where Jesus goes to Martha, Mary, and Lazarus' house, which he did often, you know, they were his friends. Uh, and one time, and he started, he was preaching, he was just sitting there talking to him, teaching him, uh, in kind of way of conversation. Uh, if sometimes we call it bull sessions or just sharing. And those are great and memorable, memorable times. Now, uh, Martha was cooking, and nothing greater in Mideastern culture, and that is hospitality. That's so important. And so here, Martha was cooking, serving, and then she complains about her sister tells Jesus, you know, she's telling you're the Messiah, you know, tell her to help me. And he says, well, no, leave her alone because she chose the greater part. So as important as uh, hospitality is, more important is that we sit at Jesus' feet. Now, if you look at the Old Testament, the prophets are always telling the people that dividing them back to God. They treated God like a stranger, like the prodigal son and his brother treated the father. They did the outward sign, and it's like appease the old man. We had the sacrifices, and all the prophets said, you know, it's not animal sacrifices that he, God was looking for, but a humble and contrite heart. That's in the Psalms, a humble, contrite heart. Jesus, you know, we all should tithe, we ought to give back, but he's not wanting your money. You know, and I think some people think, oh, he just wants money. Or I just go in and out of the church. No, he's standing there wanting to engage you. You know, look here. You know, wake up. I'm here. Um, and a personal relationship. But that takes, you know, it takes time for us. And, and being a disciple, we listen. And he talks to us. And we apply it to our daily lives, you know. He's not happy just you going in and out of church. No, we have that, that doesn't change you either. It doesn't improve you, you know. And don't get me wrong, yeah, we should be going to church. And our liturgy, our beautiful liturgy, it presumes that you know scripture. It has references and poetry and, and the prayers, but because it's thinking that you all know the Bible. And so I want to encourage you and engage you or, or challenge you. Do you know Jesus? And how well? And in your life, are you being a, a, a Christian? Just say, I'm Christian, and once in a while go to church. Or you go to church, and you're sitting there, and, excuse my language, like a bump on a dog's butt. You know, you know unless someone prayed for you, you stand there, you know. And I wish I had a camera I could scan. So you could see what you look like in the, from my point of view and in, in, in the camera. Jesus is knocking on your door. You know, there's a famous painting. You don't see it much, but it was painted by a Protestant. And in it, Jesus knocking at this door, and you'll notice there's no handle on that door. And why? He didn't forget the handle. But he wanted to stress that was Jesus knocking on the human heart. He's knocking on your door. And he wants to come and break bread with you. He wants to talk to you. He wants to listen to you. He wants a personal relationship with you. The prodigal son and his brother, they never treated the dad as, as a loving father, a daddy. He was just 
one employer. So I challenge you today, turn your hearts back to Christ, you know, and you say, I'm a big Catholic, and turn your heart back to Christ. And we all every day have to recommit ourselves. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, open my heart and make it soft that I'll be listening to your son, that I may become one with him, a brother, a disciple, just like Mary and Lazarus, and open my heart to your will and seek you that I may be proud to be called Christian and more importantly, a disciple of Jesus. Thank you and God bless.